So let's take a look at how to compute present value in slightly more complicated situations. Uh, let's say you have a three year window. Year zero is today. Year one is one year from now and year two is two years from now. And let's say you're getting $100 um, one year from now and two years from now. And the applicable interest rate is 10%. So what would be the present value of these cash flows in the year zero or today? In year zero, the present value of the $100 that you will receive in year one will be D9 divided by one plus the interest rate, which is $90.91. And the present value of the $100 that you will receive two years from now will be E10 divided by one plus the interest rate raised to the power two because uh, we are now finding the present value two years back. Therefore, we have to divide 100 by the one plus interest rate or one plus 10% twice. And therefore you have the, uh, the power of two. And so the present value of the $100 two years from now is $82.64. So if someone were to promise you this series of cash flows, $100 one year from now and $100 two years from now, what would be the joint worth of these two cash flows? That would be the sum of the two values, the sum of these two values. What if a third payment was promised at the end of the third year of another $100? The present value of that amount is F11 divided by one plus the interest rate raised to the power three because now we are discounting this three years backward. and so on for a fourth year as well. For the fourth year, we divide the $100 by one plus interest rate raised to the power four. As you can see for cash flows that are more distant in time, the present value keeps decreasing. Um, so the value of $100 one year from now, today is $90.91, whereas the value of the same $100 four years from now uh, will today be worth only $68.30. And the total value of all four cash flows is the sum, which is $316.99. But is there a shorter way to calculate this? Is there a formula that Excel provides to calculate this amount? Yes, there is, and it's called the present value or PV. The present value formula has four arguments or inputs that you need to give it. The first one is the interest rate or the rate. In this case, you would enter the cell uh, D7. The second one is the NPER, which refers to the number of periods. In this case, we have four periods here, one, two, three, and four. So NPER will be four. And PMT stands for payment, which is that fixed amount that must be paid or that is being paid every year uh, that has to go into the calculation. And in this example, PMT will be $100. So when you plug in the values into the PV or present value function, you can see that you get the same numerical value of $316.99. Now this is a handy little formula but please note that all the cash flows that you would like to capture should be the same. That means um, you can use the PV function when uh, you want to calculate the present value of a constant amount of cash over multiple periods. And these periods could be years or months or days or whatever, any time period. But the important thing is that the amount of the cash flow should be the same during every period. The other thing to notice is that this $316.99 computed by the PV function is enclosed in parentheses and appears in the color red. Why is that? That's the accounting convention to indicate that this number is a negative number. Why should this be computed as a negative number by the PV function? The reason for that is because the cash flows that are coming in 
to you um, in the year one, year two, year three, and year four, hundred dollars each. Uh, if you imagine these cash flows as coming into you, um, you can then imagine that the equivalent cash flow that you need to pay at the end of uh, at the start of year zero, which is today, would be the negative of this. So if you paid out three hundred and sixteen dollars and ninety nine cent, then that should entitle you to get a hundred dollars in each of the four, next four years at a 10% interest rate. So the negative sign, which is the red and the parenthesis, merely denotes that the cash flow is in the opposite direction. Initially, you give out the money and you receive the money in the next uh, in the subsequent four years.